Investigators say they were heroes. Department of Corrections nurse Lorena Schulte and guard Robert McFarland were killed Tuesday trying to stop what police say was an escape attempt. Good evening, I'm Aaron Kiernan. I'm Dan Winters. The Anamosa State Penitentiary is still on lockdown tonight. Police are trying to piece together how those two inmates carried out the double murder. Investigators say the two suspects were armed with hammers and a grinder that they plan to use to cut through the prison bars. The hammers became deadly weapons when the suspects were confronted by prison staff. WHO 13's Monica Madden joins us now. Monica, you talked to a former Anamosa guard that suspects policy failures allowed this to happen. Yeah, that's right, Aaron. Mike Trent's retired from his job as a guard at Anamosa in 2017, and he says there are security procedures for the use of all tools by inmates, and he believes those procedures were not followed. The Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation says inmates Michael Dutcher and Thomas Woodard got a hold of hammers and a grinder for their planned escape. All tools obviously um, are checked in and checked out. As those tools are classified as dangerous, the prison policy dictates inmates using them must be supervised at all times. I don't have any details of where the uh, tools were checked out and all that stuff yet. We're still gathering that. A former corrections officer at Anamosa believes that situation was the result of a major procedural slip up. They should have known about it, that if it was missing, they should, uh, immediately should have locked that place down. By not doing that, they endangered the public. If they would have got out, who knows what they would have done. Dutcher and Woodard claimed to be going into the infirmary break room to fix an appliance which Trent's does not think should have warranted usage of a hammer and a grinder. Where are they getting these? Who, who checked it out? Who gave it to them? Issues he believes could be fixed with more staffing, a solution the Iowa AFSCME president says he has spent years fighting for. I have absolutely no doubt that more staff inside the Anamosa State Penitentiary on March 23rd may have helped in preventing the tragedy that happened. According to the Department of Corrections, there are 320 staff members to 950 inmates at Anamosa. How many people have to die before we're willing to invest? At the State House, top Republican leaders are proposing increases to the Department of Corrections. The amount of $4 million for correctional officers. I still see $4 million as not being enough money. We do not have enough staff to safely operate those prisons and we paid the ultimate price. Woodard and Dutcher face multiple charges including first degree murder. They are being held at the Iowa State Penitentiary in Fort Madison and went before a judge this morning. Woodard had been serving a 25 year sentence for robbery. Dutcher was serving a 50 year robbery sentence and now they face the possibility of life in prison.